Watching Atlanta and Company Afternoon. I'm Christine Pilara filling in for Rashawn today. If you're like me, you probably want to be mindful of healthy eating, but you don't want to skimp on flavor. Well, I know just the place for you. Gusto Wood Fire Grill is just open in Midtown, right across from Piedmont Hospital. Nate Hibble, the founder, joins me now with more. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me on. So I have to tell them, I get invited, luckily, as a member of the media, most media do, to openings of things, and I 90% can't go because of the kids. But I heard this was kid friendly. I said, let me venture out. It was phenomenal, but more importantly, the kids loved it. I know y'all probably went, if you heard the ruckus, it was my children. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. I remember. You remember? You saw them. You're like, what are those kids doing? <laughs> now, well, let's talk about your background because you went from football to restaurateur. How did that happen? Yeah, well, there's a small gap in there, but uh, <laughs> basically, I set out to invent what I wanted as a consumer. I, Good for I, you. I wanted healthy and fast, and there weren't a lot of places. Uh, three, four, five years ago that were offering that. Right. The, the, the fast food landscape is changing across the country mm -hmm. as people are, like shows like this are promoting, yeah. you know, get out there, learn, teach yourself ha how to cook. Uh, people are becoming more engaged with ingredients like ginger and mango mm. and avocado and yes. less scared of that. Um, so I was inspired, and I had no idea that this was going to happen, but here we are. Oh, fantastic. Everything we had that night, which is a lot of different items on the menu, I just love. But talk about the significance of a wood fire grill, because that has a lot to do with the flavor of your food. Yeah, we, we it's, it's, it's not easy, but we use, it, most people, when they think, hear wood fire grill, they thought a pizza joint was coming to the exactly. neighborhood. Exactly. This is actually just a stainless steel box that we load uh, kiln dried red oak and hickory all day long. Yeah. Cook chicken, shrimp, and portobello mushrooms. Uh, it's kind of my, my policy. Anything coming off a wood fire grill is, is tasty. Just Absolutely. Just a subtle, smoky aroma. Not, not too much, but just that first layer of flavor for us. Oh, yeah. My kids are big. I, I try to cook healthy. I'm not the best cook, as people know who watch. I always say that, and it's true. But I you know, I will say I've tried to, I try to get them eating a lot of different things. So they're big chicken eaters, and they just kept going back for more. So the flavor of the chicken is phenomenal in addition to those other dishes. So what have you decided to do here today with that? What we brought in today is a dish that's kind of near and dear to my heart. Um, at Gusto, we ask, what's your gusto, okay? <laughs> right. This is a, the dish I brought today is called spiced tomato tzatziki, all okay. right? What is so, tzatziki? Tzatziki is a cucumber salad, traditionally. Okay. Um, we're going to start with uh, wood fire grilled chicken. Obviously, I'm not, we're not, we're not emulating it perfectly. This right. came off our wood fire grill this morning. Right, TV time, um, folks. <laughs> yeah, layer one for us is a Moroccan spiced uh, tomato tomato sauce, so okay? And what makes it Moroccan mm. is oh my gosh. cinnamon, cumin, so cloves, good. coriander. Uh, it's inexpensive to add dry spices to any sauce right. and really beef up on the flavor, okay? Wow, that's so good. So we're going to start with wood fire grilled chicken, and then layer one for us is a fire roasted, what I would describe to our customers, cinnamon fire roasted tomato sauce, okay. right? Yeah. Layer two is, this is the tzatziki part okay. of the spiced tomato tzatziki. Spiced right. tomato. Um, tzatziki is, it comes in a, a bunch of different forms, but for us, we actually peel and slice the cucumber so there's great texture, mm -hmm. and then it's tossed in a lemon mint yogurt. Oh, All right? Yeah. And then the final part of our dish today is a Moroccan carrot salad, all right? What makes it Moroccan? Cilantro, citrus, toasted cumin, uh, toasted mustard seeds. Uh, it, it's just, the idea is that, that that healthy does not have to be boring. Exactly, or bland. Yeah, and not, have this to be bland. is, I mean, the flavor comes alive. I'm still tasting that in the sauce. It's incredible. Yeah. So, uh, you know, anybody, I, I, I kind of taught myself um, the way of the the kitchen just literally through googling and and buying magazines. Really. It took me four years to kind of learn a, enough. I'm not classically trained by any stretch <laughs> of the imagination. But really, anybody can can learn. Well, I, I encourage anybody just to try any recipe right. they get their can get their hands on. This carrot salad, basically, the inspiration was uh, I, the only carrot salad I knew was that tired classic yes. southern one with mayo, mayo. and raisins. Yep, that's and the one. And when I tasted this with uh, this bursting of the citrus, right. the freshness of the cilantro, um, it. it 
really gets me excited. Exactly. So, but do you mind? I, yeah, go ahead. Start assembling. Okay. But I was I love the fact that you said that you're not classically trained because that to me makes it all the more appealing that I know that you just did probably a lot of trial and error to come up with these. A lot of failing. <laughs> hey, that's fine. To come up with the recipes that you thought like, oh, this is just packing a great flavor. And and um, there were so many different things. There was a chicken salad there that I love too. And I know you have a couple of different versions. Probably the goat cheese. It, it was the goat cheese. Well, I actually tried them all, I think. But um, oh my gosh, it, again, it's, it's using not the heavier ingredients and finding an alternative like like the yogurt right. that really um, doesn't, again, make you skimp on the flavor, but it just adds a nice uh, element. There's nothing against deep fryers and butter, but you don't <laughs> you don't have to necessarily use those to to get a delicious meal, and right. that's part of what we do at Gusto every day. So mm. um, this is um, a out. little bit make makeshift because we're we're not we're not at my new home, right. which is uh, you know on Peachtree, um, but How's this is. I was going to ask you, how's that been going? Because it's a great spot right across from the hospital. It's been wild. Uh, we've been open for like 10 days. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, starting a new business, especially a restaurant, is every day is uh, exciting, scary, uh, thrilling. But we, we put together a good team and Absolutely. we're executing this. We brought a couple dishes. Yeah. Uh, but again, we're all about the ingredients, feta, cucumbers, scallions, carrots. We get yeah. really turned on by those. I know, and I get to try it after the break. For more information about Gusto Woodfire Grill, visit them at gustowoodfiregrill.com. When I come back, I'm finally going to get to eat. Starving. Had a little snicker. I didn't count. Had about 12. <laughs>